Yo guys, Code Life here. So in this video today guys, I wanted to show you all how removing your computer's temporary files can actually give you a pretty decent FPS boost in Fortnite Battle Royale. That's right guys, by just simply removing the temporary files from your PC that your computer doesn't even use by the way, you guys can actually get a huge FPS boost just by doing that, it's really that simple guys. To get started and to get straight to it, um, all you guys have to do is head over to your desktop, as you can see that's where I am right now, um, you then want to press the Windows key plus R at the same time and then this run box right here should appear and in here guys you want to type in the following command, you want to type in percentage sign, app, data and then percentage sign, um, actually don't type in that just yet guys, type in local in front and that'll save us an extra step, I just remembered about that there. Just type in percentage sign local update a percentage sign, press ok and then you guys want to locate a folder called temp. Now you could scroll down to T and find it that way but I myself I'm just going to do a shortcut which is pressing T and it'll show all the files that begin with T and as you can see there there's a temp file that's what we're looking for. You want to go ahead guys and double click on that and then here is all of your computer's temporary files that your PC um, only use temporary and like doesn't like use anymore. That's obviously the name, it's temp, that means temporary files and your PC guys just doesn't use these anymore and what they're doing right, right now is essentially just taking up space um, and taking up um, some of your PC's power as they're literally just there on your system. Like for me, for example, if I go on date modified, I bet these go way back. Um, we're all saying 2021, but there, I just seen one that said 2019 somewhere in there. Hold on, let's have a look. Yeah, 2020. Like, look at that, guys. These go well back. Like, literally last year. And they've just been sitting on my computer for literally a year. Like, that is insane. Well, not a year, it's like at the end of uh, 2020 but you get the point but yeah guys for these you literally want to drag actually instead of dragging that i'll show you guys a little trick and um, just press ctrl plus a at the same time and it'll select every single temporary file guys and essentially what you want to do here is you want to just slap that delete button on your keyboard it'll say are you sure that you want to remove 767 items um, Jesus, that's how many I've got. Guys, when you get to this, um, comment below in the comment section how many items are in your temp folder. Like, I bet some of you out there have, like, literally thousands. Um, and you, you guys will feel the most significant FPS boost ever. But for me... I'm happy it's under a thousand, but this will still make a huge difference. But yeah, guys, basically you want to remove these, just click yes. But that's not it. Um, once it's all, like, done, that, like, clearing them out... It's actually not that high. I thought it'd be a lot higher. If this comes on, by the way, just press skip. Um, I'm guessing these are the ones that are in use. Um, and by the way, this won't delete any personal files. It's just temporary files, guys. Um, but once this has all like recycled, um, which I'm not sure how long it'll take. It should be um, any second now. And um, by the way, if it does leave any, just leave them, guys. It's not that big of a deal because you would have got the majority of them out. Um, but however long this takes... Usually it's faster than this, I don't really know what's going on. And what I'll do guys is once this is finished, I'll come back and I'll continue what I was saying. Alright, so like two minutes later, it eventually stopped guys, and this is what it's left. Um, these are the files that um, wouldn't delete, so I just skipped them, and they're left. Guys, do not worry about these. All this means is these are actually still in temporary use, so just leave them. Don't try and delete them anymore if it's telling you not to. But yeah, once you've done that guys, you want to close down this here, which is the temp file, and then you want to go over to your recycling bin. Um, if you don't have it, search in the bottom like start menu just search uh recycling bin but mine's on the desktop you want to just double click on it guys and then here is all the temp refiles that need fully deleted again you can drag and like select them all like that but guys don't bother just press ctrl a at the same time it'll select everything in there and then just slap that delete button again guys in just a second all of them will be gone and my PC will be slightly more optimized than it was before. Um, really, I know a lot of you guys will know this already, but just think of this video as a reminder to like to do it again. Because obviously every day you do use your computer, a lot of temporary files will build up. So just be sure to do this like every month or so. And yeah, guys, after you've done that, you should be good to go. Um, now all you want to do guys is you want to go into Fortnite, just load it up. Um, and test it out to see how much FPS you gained 
from that. Um, play a few games, guys, and let me know in the comment section below. Does your game feel smoother or not? I'd love to know, guys. For me, um, I know it definitely does feel smoother when I do this. Um, I've done it before in the past, and I know for a fact when I go in the game, it will feel slightly like smoother than before. Um, but yeah, guys, really, it's a super simple trick that can potentially save you an extra like 20 to 30 frames, guys. It all depends on how many temp files you had clogged up in your PC. Um, so yeah guys, be sure to try that out, and I'd love to know your results in the comment section below. But yeah, that's all for me today guys, if this video helped you out, be sure to leave a like, as that would help me out a ton. And yeah, that's all I've got guys, thank you all so much for watching, hope you all have a great day, peace.